when you look into the eyes of the so-called devil woman of Michigan, what do you see? I see exactly what I saw from the very beginning. She's one of the most manipulative people that you'll ever meet in your entire life. There's over 100 hours of interview between us, between phone recordings and audio video. It's a master manipulator at every step of the way with her. I watch and I study people, obviously, you do too, mm -hmm. and how they act and how they seem to feel and react to others. And it's all about whether or not you can use that particular emotion to manipulate. Not always. But a lot of the time. Some psychopathic tendencies with that. If it was my family, I would, I said I'd kill for them, but I'd probably also die for them. What was your dynamic then with Kelly? You know, initially just to make her want to come talk to me. How do you do that? I left something to be said. She needs to go away and we'll see if she comes back on her own. In many ways, that was your first chess move. It was, because it was about her re-engaging me. It wasn't me shoving the idea down her throat. It was her coming back to me to continue to talk about these things. Why did you choose to continue to talk to me? Did you think I was weak? Did you think I was vulnerable? The vulnerability you can see in your eyes, but that's not why. So then why? Some people fascinate me. How do you think she's seeing this relationship with you? I always felt like she viewed me as a worthy adversary and that um, that's why this continued. I think that most of what she did was obsession. Um, you know, she was obsessed with having her way with Chris and then being done with him. So you didn't buy her act? Never, never. But you you have to let them go down that road in order to get the answers that you want in the end. You're on full police officer alert the entire time. Yeah, I'm completely vigilant the entire time I'm with her and I'm not letting my guard down. I don't put myself with anybody that I haven't looked into or that I don't know at least a little bit about. Okay, so can you explain to me then? You fascinate me. No, not, not a good answer. But you do. Okay, but why? What has happened to me or my life that fascinates you? You can see it in your eyes. What about it? You have the same look in your eyes that I feel like I've seen in my eyes, but I don't feel it. You feel and what's that? Sadness. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.